So the other day I was flicking through Instagram and you know how you see ads and sometimes too often you see ads? Well, one of those ads caught my eye. It was an ad for the cup cooler. What? What does that do? Well, if you add your warm drink in here, you push the button, within just a little bit of time you're stirring up a nice icy drink. That's something I think is really, really neat and that's what we're going to test out today. Speaking of Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, check down in the description so you can see my social medias. I would love it if you would follow me over there. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. My channel is dedicated to reviewing mostly as seen on TV items. I look at some consumer gadgets, other household items. Once in a while I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below so you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. Now, let's see if this can really make our drink nice, icy, cool. All right, so there isn't a whole lot to this cup. It just came in a box that was marked all in Japanese or Chinese lettering. And I opened it and here it was. There was an adapter and the cup. So let's open this up. All right, so I have two pieces here. I have the base and this is supposed to, I guess, chill the cup and might have something that it interacts with here. And we're supposed to chill the cup and your water or your beverage is supposed to get cold. Unfortunately, the directions aren't in English and that's all that I speak. So I'm gonna have to figure this out on my own. So after I read through the directions, I thought, I don't even know what this says because I don't speak Chinese and I definitely can't read it. What am I going to do? So I sat for a minute thinking, huh? Well, then I realized I have a translation app on my phone where I hold up the camera to whatever it is and it translates it. So that's what I did. And that's how I figured out how to use this product. Before I go and wash up this cup and get it ready, I wanted to test out the base and see exactly what it does. So I have a little temperature gun here, 77 degrees, and I have this plugged into this very large power brick and let's see what happens if we turn it on. If it gets on, oh, I can hear, I can hear a fan noise. Can you hear that? It makes it, it's like making a fan noise. That's kind of cool. Oh, you know what? This is cool to the touch. Whoa, look at that. Oh, this is going to be cool. All right, so I'm going to go wash this cup up real nice. I'm just going to hand wash it. It doesn't look like it could be a dishwasher thing. It's plastic on the outside, metallic or aluminum on the inside. So I'm going to hand wash it and then we're going to test it out. Wow, that is awesome. All right, so I have completely hand washed my cup. I will say it sounded like water may have gotten inside here because when I was shaking it earlier, it sounded like water in there. So I shook it a lot and it doesn't seem like it's in there anymore. And I let it sit to dry. I have three different liquids. I have water, I have apple juice, and it tells you can do like beer or pop. And I just happen to have ginger beer, which is more like ginger ale. So I'm hoping that will work. So first let's do the water. All right. So I pour it in the cup. I'm going to drop my thermometer in there and you can see here's the thermometer. I'm going to leave it sitting here. Right now it's reading at 77 degrees. So let's hit go or on. It would help if I had the surge protector on. All right, now let's hit on. All right, so immediately my fan picks up. What I saw them do on the infomercial is I saw them stirring. That's why I have this spoon, but I just want to see what happens first. Let's bring it closer. All right, so our temperature is still at 77 degrees. So maybe the connection between the plate and the cup takes a little longer. So what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to, um, I'll stop the video and I'll bring you back when this thing starts cooling down, but I will put a timeline to see how long it takes. All right, so look at this, 66 degrees. So it's brought it down 11 degrees. That's pretty cool. Now for the time, it's been 31 minutes. 
I eventually just said, you know what? I'm gonna bring this back to video because 31 minutes, that sounds silly. I might as well just put it in the freezer and bring down the temperature. I was kind of disappointed so far just because when I saw the cooling pad here got so cold when I first started, I thought this was gonna go ice really, really quick. On the infomercial, they show you to stir it up and all of a sudden there's a whole lot of ice. Well, who's got time to sit around here for two hours to make ice? I'm just gonna put that in the freezer. So, what are your thoughts on these kind of cup cooling or cooling devices? Have you ever used one of these before? Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I just open this can of ginger beer. I'm gonna pour it into this cup. And I want to see how long it takes for this to cool down. Let's see what our present temperature is. Probe in. So it looks like it's right around the 72 degree range. Let's do a time lapse video just to see how long it takes for this to cool down using this cup cooler. I wanted to remind you that although the timer looks like it's counting in seconds, it's actually counting in minutes. We're doing a time-lapsed video. But what I wanted to do is I wanted to show you the actually cooling potential of this cup cooler. We started at 72 degrees and we ended up, well, we're going to end up at about 65 degrees. But the fact of the matter is it took about 32 minutes for us to reduce that temperature. So it's a pretty significant time period. So there you have it, about 32 minutes, took it down seven or so degrees. I do think you'd probably have better results just in the refrigerator, but if you don't have a refrigerator and you have 30 minutes, well, there you go. Do you ever have a plan to do something and then when you get into it, things aren't going according to plan or maybe those plans backfired? Well, that's what happened to me. So I had plans on using or cooling down the water and then apple juice, and then the ginger beer. Well, after the flop of the water, I just skipped the apple juice altogether and went right to the ginger beer because I didn't really want to waste my time doing it. Um, as I was looking at this product, I was really excited, especially at the beginning when I saw this metal plate just go really, really cold really, really fast. Well, during my testing, I, I off-camera shot this again with the temperature gun, and it was a lot warmer, like maybe up in the 50s. So I don't know if it uncovered when it doesn't have anything on top of it, it gets cooler, but when it was covered, it was definitely a lot warmer. And this was really disappointing. On the Instagram ad that I saw, they literally poured the drink on, put it in there, and stirred up ice within a matter of minutes. I actually had my spoon ready, but then five minutes and 10 minutes and 15 minutes. And then I was like, I'm not gonna carry the spoon anymore. Um, for me, this is kind of a flop of a product. Like I said in, in the videos, refrigerator or freezer, would work a whole lot better for me. Now, that being said, if you don't have access to those or maybe you want to try to keep your drink cool all day long, maybe this is something you want to buy. But the price tag is a little high. I think it was around 40 or so dollars with the shipping. Anyway, this is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the cup cooler. Even though it wasn't very good, I appreciate that you stayed around. In the theme of keeping cool, not that long ago, I did a review of something by Nextfan called the Ultra Air Cooler. And it's like a mini swamp cooler that's supposed to keep you cool if you keep this in with, within close proximity. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link that video right up here. So make sure you're logged into YouTube so you can see this pop up and click on this link. And by the magic of the internet, I'm gonna join you over at this link. Go ahead, click it, it's safe, I promise.